Okay, question number three. Convert 2.94 kilograms to grams. So we've got um, only one number here, 2.94 kilograms. Decimal point's not big enough. And they're asking us to convert to grams. Whenever we have a metric conversion like this, um, we've got kilograms and grams. They're both related to grams. We look at our, our units that we're starting and ending with and ask ourselves, how many prefixes are there? Well, here, this, the first one, the kilogram, has a prefix. The second one does not have a prefix. There's one prefix. So this is a one-step problem. If there's two prefixes, then it's a two-step problem. So we can go directly from kilograms to grams. So then we write out our equation. 2.94 kilograms. We have one arrow. We have one fraction. Kilograms to grams, short path for Dora. Kilograms to grams. In our equation, we go kilograms to grams. So what we wrote here in our path is what we write on the top of all these fractions. Here there's only one, but it's kilograms to grams. Then in the denominator, we put the unit that was over here. So kilograms comes down here because we want them to go away. They cancel out. Okay, so this is a real short one. And then we need our relationship between grams and kilograms. Yeah, kilo means a thousand. Okay, so I'm going to follow my pattern of using 10 to the something. A thousand is 10 to the 3, which is the same as 1 times 10 to the 3. So I put that on the other side, not where kilo is. And so another way to look at that is to do it this way. Gram equals gram, right? A gram equals a gram. Well, duh, anything equals itself. That's an equality. It's like a balanced teeter-totter. And if we want it to stay equal, if we do something to one side, we have to do the same thing to the other side. So I'm going to put kilo on one side of that teeter-totter. I have to put something that's equal in value on the other side. Kilo means 10 to the third, or 1 times 10 to the third. And so when you follow this pattern of using 10 to the third, 10 to the minus third, these things that I asked you to memorize, it always follows the same pattern, the prefix on one side, what it means on the other side. So there we have our equation. We get out our calculator. We take 2.94 times 1EE3, e, e, and in scientific notation, that will be 2.94 times 1 times 10 to the third. And the unit is really important. The unit is gram. Now, your calculator might also show you 2940. Okay, that's kind of a marginal answer because there's a trailing zero and there's no decimal point and so it's a little ambiguous but in this situation it ends up being okay but not ideal so this is your best answer